Okay, so this is a little update on the QRX 350 with the Emax uh, motors. Uh, wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. Um, first off is when you put the motors in, uh, I'll go ahead and flip it over real quick. Uh, you can only use uh, two of the screws. Um, the way the motor mounts, uh, the measurements in between on the Walkara uh, motors, they're, they look like they're equally spaced, all four of them. So they only use two, but as for the plastic and how it flexes, I don't think I'll have any issues with the motor moving more than the, the plastic will. So, uh, and another thing is, I tried to use the Phantom P330, which is a 2.4 gig uh, receiver, and uh, I thought it was PPM, but it's actually, I guess it's DJI's D-Bus, and only two connections on this receiver, uh, I went ahead and labeled them, because this is X2, where you plug in a PPM or D-Bus receiver. But I, I've tried both settings, and it only works with uh, D-Bus. So um, it will not work with the APM. I've tried it, and it's not going to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use a Walkara 8-channel receiver. And uh, hopefully I don't have any issues uh, with this. But the motors look pretty good on there. The, the black with the white it looks really good. And um, the power control board that I purchased was actually the newer edition, so you can see that it does look, uh, it's different, it's bigger. Uh, there's one more 12 volt connection where you can add, uh, looks like three other 12 volt connections instead of being soldered where the battery terminal is. Um, everything else seems to be the same, the BEC. And uh, if I can show you kind of maybe a, a little bit on this uh, motor right here and all the motors are the same what I had to do was I cut back on a little bit of the shrink tubing to be able to bend the wire because when you mount it instead of it being in the middle it's a little bit on the right hand side so I cut the shrink tubing bent it over this way and wrapped it around and you can see there's high glue here and here to hold the wires where it's it mounts easier and another thing I had to do was the wires that came off the motor that had 3.5 millimeter bullet connectors. I had to cut them off and then I went ahead and I had to extend each wire. Now, the way I uh, wired these terminals as for coming off the motor is I had the red in the front and the, uh, the red in the front and this is the front and the green in the back. And... To save a little bit of testing, uh, possibly if anybody tries to, uh, you know, put their motors in this way, is if the board's facing like this, you take the motor, aim it straight down, so now you're looking at, you know, the left, the right, and the middle, it's pretty much wired straight to the motor. And what I did is I used the red as the middle. So you could see on this motor, to have it... Um, clockwise rotation and I would recommend writing this down so you don't get confused and uh, with the APM it's motor 1, 2, and 3, and 4 and I just put clockwise for these two and counterclockwise for these two but you can see uh, the, wire, the red wire if, it, if you aim the motor down the middle goes here that's the red and then the left one the right one and then on this one if you look at it this way, it's if the motor's facing down and you're looking at the three wires, they're just directly soldered like this. So it, it could be easy. I mean, I went ahead and had to test each one of them, so that was a little bit of work. Also, what I did was uh, in my original wall camera, it didn't have this little USB board. So what I'm going to do is basically cut this off and splice in a USB connector. Well, that way it gives me the Bluetooth connection with the APM or I can, um, you know, use the USB. So, uh, and then one more thing to note on the uh, compass lead, it does work plugged in. Now, what I did is I have it set to roll, mount it the way originally it's supposed to be mounted, just like that uh, on the back right. I, uh, I have it set to roll 135 degrees, and it seems to be a little bit off. So I don't know if I, just because this aims in at an angle like that, I've tried different ones, and 135 is the, the closest I can come with. Now, I don't know. It seems to be a little off from aiming straight north, but 
uh, when I fly it I'll see how good it works now one thing I did have to do if you notice on this on this I don't know if I can get it to focus on that little plug but on this plug I had to swap the the middle new two connectors like the transmit receive and it's easy enough to do um, all you have to do is 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 basically take take your uh, hobby knife go underneath the connecting like this the connector and just kind of pinch it up take your white lead it's it's best to start off where you split the wires and it will slide out like that and all you need to do is pay attention to the little connector there's a little kind of little tit on this side and just make sure the tit is on the correct side and when you push it back in you just push it back in push the plastic down test it make sure it just doesn't I see, it, see it slid out on me just go ahead and that's why it's always good to test it push it back in okay you're gonna push that put make sure it's all the way in push the plastics down and then it shouldn't come out and you can test all the connections but that's how you do it and but it, it does transmit and it does work so that was just an update and uh, if anybody's interested in you know trying to build it like this and use these particular motors uh, it'll work pretty good Alright, thanks for watching.